Welcome to the Veritas Resiliency Platform. The Global Dashboard provides visibility into the state of IT service continuity for your entire enterprise. You can quickly identify risks to your infrastructure that could impede your ability to recover within your SLAs. It also provides an at-a-glance view of your configured assets and whether your recovery point objectives can be satisfied. Let's navigate to see some of the configured assets. The resiliency platform allows you to easily group your workloads together for easy monitoring, management, and recovery in resiliency groups. A simple wizard walks you through the process and abstracts the complexity of the underlying technologies. First, select the VMs or applications you wish to protect. Just filter and drop to select. We'll give this resiliency group a name of HR App 2. Here we can see the resiliency platform has detected the underlying replication and understands the relationship to the recovery site. We simply confirm and move to the next step. We also have the option of applying any changes required to the failover network based on simple policies. And it's really that easy. We've created a resiliency group and can now monitor the VMs and applications contained as a whole. Quickly understand where the workloads are running and see if you're able to meet your SLAs. Now we can easily test the recovery of this resiliency group without disruption. Let's take a look at what the resiliency platform is doing under the covers. Here we can see that it integrates with the storage layer to take a snapshot of the data on the recovery site, mounts that storage in the virtual infrastructure, and then starts up that workload in the isolated network. And here we can see that it's the time it took to complete the rehearsal. Now let's actually migrate this workload from the Pune Data Center to the Santa Clara Data Center. Again, it's as simple as pushing a button. Let's take a look at what the resiliency platform is doing. Here we can see it is gracefully shutting down the workload in Pune, unmounting the storage, failing over the replication, adjusting the DNS settings, mounting the storage in Santa Clara, and starting up that workload in Santa Clara. You can see additional details of the interactions with the infrastructure as well. Going back, we can see that the workload is online in Santa Clara, as well as how long that migration took. We can just as easily move that workload back to Pune by following the same process. In addition to grouping these assets, you can also create a larger group of resiliency groups to create a multi-tier application called a Virtual Business Service, or VBS. This will allow you to easily monitor and manage the entire service, not just the tiers separately as in other solutions. Here we can quickly create a two-tier business service consisting of a database and a couple of applications. This can be a mix of physical and virtual workloads and different technologies. Again, it's as simple as dragging and dropping your workloads. And that's about it. Now we can visualize the state of the entire service, know where it's running, and easily migrate that entire service to the recovery site in the proper order. Let's do that. And let's take a look at what's actually happening. Here you can clearly see a similar process that was followed for the individual resiliency group, and this is done for the entire virtual business service. We'll stop app one and app two, then the database, unmount the storage, update the DNS, mount the storage, start up the database, and then start up app one and app two in Pune. Now let's take a look at the resiliency plan feature. This lets you quickly build recovery plans in either an ad hoc way or using predefined templates. This gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility to orchestrate recovery and manage your workloads across your entire environment. Here we'll create a simple plan based on a template to shut down some test workloads in the recovery data center and then migrate a couple of virtual business services. So I pick my template. I want to stop some test VMs on the recovery site. And then I want to migrate the finance virtual business service to the recovery site. And finally, we can migrate the HR uh, virtual business service that we created to the recovery site. 
and we'll go ahead and save this plan. Now, anyone who has appropriate permissions can come in here and execute this plan as needed. Let's go ahead and execute this. And we'll take a look at what's happening. Here we can see exactly the steps that we defined are being executed. And if you expand this table, you'll see additional details for each sub-step. Finally, let's take a look at the reports. The resiliency platform includes a number of reports on your infrastructure as well as historical reports on testing and recovery activities. Let's take a look at the migrate and takeover report. This shows a history of movement uh, of workloads between sites. So here you can quickly see uh, those that failed as well as those that were successful and how long they took. I hope you enjoyed our quick tour of the resiliency platform. Thanks for watching.